Here Check out Timothy. this story, The War Zone. This man owns the world's most advanced private air force after buying 46 FA-18 Hornets. We talked to the owner of Air USA about probably the most incredible private aircraft purchase of all time and the future of his adversary of his adversary business. Adversary business. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe this is real. I got to be honest. Is this guy like super rich or something? Is that a kangaroo know. on the side there? It is. That's a Where? kangaroo. Look, Where? right behind his head. That, that is king. That is totally a kangaroo. a kangaroo. And you can see here you got a tiger. Heck? Check this out. First, I want to show you some huh. pictures. Let me let me actually increase the. Let me zoom in on this. That's his article. new Air Force team. Wow. Dude. I mean, this this is the reason I wanted to be in the Air Force. I mean, my uncle was in the Air Force also. Wow. But I wanted to fly those planes. But I'm colorblind and mm. I have glasses, so nope, not allowed to fly planes. Oh man. So that that uh, you know, have you ever seen Little Miss Sunshine? Yeah, a long time ago. So the son is talking about flying jets, and the granddad is like, oh, does he know that uh, he, you know, he's colorblind, so he can't? And wow. the kid like freaks out and is just like screaming in the sky. Yeah, that was me. Wow. I mean, I wasn't screaming about it, but I, I definitely was bummed because when I was like, eight-year-old me, oh, my, one of the first games I ever had was this. It was Afterburner. It was a little tiny cockpit like... You you know you had the little thing and you'd accelerate the plane and all it was was just a little <laughs> arcade like move to the left or the right yeah, to yeah, avoid yeah. stuff or shoot. But man, I loved it and uh, I just wanted to be a fighter pilot and I found man. out I couldn't. Got to have perfect vision. I'm bummed. So I'm a little jealous of this guy. He's got That's 46 so cool. planes. Oh well, gosh. I guess if you get to choose, if you privately own. That's, a fighter. You, you so can, that's what I need to do. Yeah. And they get clearance to fly it, I guess. Or or just befriend this this dude. Yeah. He's or, got a couple extras to spare. <laughs> Here's what they say. For the, for the last 30 years, Don Curlin has been flying for the airlines, working on real estate deals, setting up the world's biggest skydiving meets, and building a private air force, the likes of which even he has a hard time believing is possible. <laughs> just last month, the war zone was among the first to report that his company would be purchasing multiple squadrons worth of surplus Royal Australian Air Force wow. RAAF FA-18 Hornets to be used in the contractor adversary air support role here in the United States. Not only do we have all the details on that purchase, which is even more impressive than it initially seemed, but we talked at length with the entrepreneur owner of Air USA, located in Quincy, Illinois. Wow. Oh, wow. About his company's past. And what is turning into a, and what is turning into a remarkable, if not downright historic, future? So is this like private air security? It's for his it company. It sounds like it. All right, what, let's, let's security for his company. Well, I think this is. It sounds like it's run by his company. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. So it's not, it sounds like it might not just be his. So I don't want to read through the basic history of his company, not to be disrespectful to his company. I, I want to hear about what he's going to be doing with these things. Yes, yeah, check the this out. Enter the most spectacular private aircraft purchase of all time. Air USA's acquisition of all of the Royal Australian Air Force's remaining FA-18AB Hornets. Canada had bought 25 prior to this deal going through. The Jets Air, Air USA is slated to receive 46 in total, of which 36 are flying today, will be replaced by the F-35A Joint Strike Fighter, within the RAAF's ranks and thus will be totally retired from service by the end of 2021. Damn, I'd take one, man. I want one. How much do how much do you think it costs for him to buy? Do they mention? That was the first thing I bought in GTA 5 was the Hydra F, the the plane that could the Harrier that could just go off and fly. But these things can't do that, right? No, no, I don't think so. So the uh they they they're talking a bit about configurations and stuff. All of Air USA's secondhand Hornets feature AN APG 73 radar, the same one that is found on the FA 18 CD, and, and this is a lot of jargon for me, on the Super Hornets that differ from the less capable AN APG 65 radar. Oh, I have of course. no idea what that means. Oh, yes. Sure, this makes I'm trying to figure nice. out what the cost of this and what's going to do with them. At, right. You know? How much did it cost? Check this out. The Jets also come with their Northrop Grumman AN AAQ 28 Lightning Advanced Targeting Pods which are hugely capable in the air-to-ground targeting and non-traditional reconnaissance realm, as well as for positively identifying aircraft visually at long ranges. Hmm. You can read all about this function and its value in this past piece of ours. In addition, the Hornets come with 68 joint helmet mounting queuing systems, which offers helmet-mounted display capability and drastically increases a pilot's situational awareness and high off bore site targeting for close range air to air missiles. That Jeez. sounds like this Iron will, Man. <laughs> seriously. It does. 
This will make it easier for these aggressor jets to simulate foreign capabilities of a similar nature. But what are they going to do? Like, what does he do with these? Someone someone uh, tagged me and they said that they're using them to be the adversaries in training for, oh, that's for, what it is. for the Air Force. Oh. So they're not facing each other. They're facing a, another oh, like, cool. group. Wow. I don't know dude. if that's true, but Could I be? do appreciate you guys all tagging me and that's awesome. randomly. It's pretty good. What's it's, the, it's for training. Some other people are cost? saying it to me. Yeah, they learn. They learn to dogfight with each other. Wow, it's dude. pretty pretty cool. So they're that's not a part of the Air Force. So this is this is the team I need to get on. That's yeah. What, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Can you, can, will they let you fly? Even or will they have similar you know hmm. similar conditioning? No, I have no idea. I'm not I'm not sure. That I want to know what so the price cool. is. What is this? Seventy million dollars a piece. What? Yep. Someone someone he tagged me and said thirty three million a piece. Per plane. Oh, this this says the unit cost is the 2017 flyaway cost was 70.5. Where where is that? Is that in here per, somewhere? Google. Per per jet. Yeah. 70 mil. Wait, how much? Wait, is that brand new though? Uh, yeah, it must be. But these are used, weren't they? So 33 million makes sense. That does make sense. Okay. Times About half so 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 18. A billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Did he spend a billion dollars? Possibly. That's crazy. Wait, am I doing my math wrong? That's a billion dollars, right? I don't know. Let me Let's see. Math. 30, 33 nice. times 46 it's oh, like 46 yeah i thought it was 18 for some reason he bought one, he bought 46 1. yeah 1.5 1. 1. billion 1.5 billion wow man Holy yep All right, i gotta become a billionaire yes so that i can buy no no no. you don't need you don't need 40 of them you need like one jet yeah, two okay okay you're right okay. i need okay. 80 <laughs> of them you need your summertime jet and the uh the wintertime jet no he needs <laughs> 80 of jet. them oh my gosh <laughs> Sometimes you want to put the top down, you know? Dude, check this out. (laughs) Here's what they say. It says, JTACs need to get time on the mic with real aircraft overhead in both day and nighttime conditions to get accustomed to organizing the three-dimensional airspace overhead in relationship to the battle space on the ground and effectively, safely, and efficiently call in airstrikes on enemy targets. This is an incredibly complex and high-stakes job. But using high-performance fighters in the Pentagon's inventory that cost at least $20,000 an hour to train with is horribly cost-ineffective. As such, being able to provide far less expensive assets via the the contractor marketplace for some of this training has become a major priority. Yep, so it's training. Dude, you mean to tell me this guy has got a lucrative business and all these fighter jets, when when the zombie apocalypse happens, this guy's got an got air that superiority yep. so cool isn't like like the american war doctrine like based on air superiority or something like that's like a big part of what we do that's true yeah i'd hope so yeah props to the chat for uh hitting me up with the appropriate information Pre- yeah, appreciate is. you guys what is this he's also got helicopters what? Dope. who is this guy what i was like i want to hang out with this too. guy wow man so he also has cessnas apparently mm. which have reciprocating turbocharged io360 engines Found on normal light planes, extremely efficient, are extremely efficient compared to their turbine-powered competitors, and feature video downlink, encrypted communications, and night vision goggle ca- uh, compatible cockpits, among other modifications. They are also Jeez. certified under the FA- FAA standard category, not the experimental category. Even with all their modifications, which has a multitude of benefits. Check this out. You know, it's this. This. this remember earlier, I was talking about people buying houses in Maine. Yeah. I'm like, what? Who are these people? He's got one point five billion dollars to yeah. buy Found one. all these. But yeah. but how does he have all you, that money? You think you know he's I mean? got a, a nice place in Maine? I bet he does. <laughs> Maybe. Well, he lives in Illinois. I bet he's got a really nice place in Illinois. Yeah, true. But how do you secure? I mean, I think it's fair to say maybe he didn't personally buy them. Maybe he secured a big loan and said we got a government contract guarantee over thirty years or something like that, and so he got people to finance it. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine that would make sense. And now he gets to stand in front of them and talk to, uh, you know, about how he is the one who has all of these. And uh, I'm sure he is very happy about it. I'm, 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 I'm glad he's been able to. They have a bunch of other stuff, apparently. Check this out. He's got tons of planes. Holy cow. Like, not just the ones he just recently bought. Yeah, look at all that. So they do skydiving and stuff. This is a really interesting article because it basically goes into literally everything. But yeah. I got I to confess, I don't know enough about the jargon yeah. other than... How big? I'm, I'm curious how big this Air Force is compared to the other others in the world. You know what I heard? This could be not true. Maybe maybe it's true. There's a thing that you know. It's it's, it's not really a joke. It's kind of like a point. Do you know who has the biggest Air Force in the world? I don't. Do you know what the biggest Air Force in the world is? I I don't. The United States Air Force. Okay. Do you know what the second biggest Air Force in the world is? I don't. The United States Navy. 
Oh, I did. I did hear that. <laughs> I've yeah. heard that before. I don't know if it's true. It's, it, it's not really surprising, though. I mean, totally. Does, so, like the naval vessels, the aircraft carriers, they have, they have planes. That, that's and all not. Stuff. That's not the air force. That's no, the navy. That's a navy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming. Blue I, I always yeah. just assumed it was kind of like a joint effort. You know, like they separate. Would, because so, I think the Air Force was was handling out of space stuff too. Now the Space Force does it, right? But they they handle a lot of other stuff that the Navy wouldn't. Well, actually, no. Like, this the space original space stuff would be from a little bit of everyone, right? Every every different aspect of the Army had a little piece of it, and it made a mess of it, and that's why the Space Force actually does make some sense, dude. So. Whatever this guy's doing, he did it right. <laughs> yeah, I need to figure that out. Yeah, he's so doing it uh, right, dude. So I can I can have a photo like this. Look at how happy he is. Oh that, that, is that is one happy dude. That's He's like, yeah, check out my jet. You know what? You know what's funny? You know what's really really funny? What? I think it was I think it was Eric Swalwell. I'm not sure, a Democrat who made a point about second the Second Amendment. Okay. And he said something like, I, I, maybe it wasn't him. I may be wrong, but he said something about buying a tank, and like. He's like, are you are you gonna go buy a tank? And you know, of course not. There are limits. You actually can buy a tank. He was you, the one who was really? talking about nuking people. I wonder how well, much a tank is. But I actually looked it up and fact check. You can buy a tank. That's dope. With artillery and everything. You're what? Allowed, you're totally allowed. with artillery. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty. Maybe <laughs> I'm pretty sure actually. Yeah. And there was a story about apparently somebody bought a tank and was all firing a full auto fifty cal into a lake. <laughs> And someone called the cops, and the cops were like, "I don't know what we do about that. Like, <laughs> what what are, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> what are we gonna? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, please. No, 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 no. Stop. Not Stop. excuse me, sir. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> oh my hey. gosh. Yeah, right. But uh, apparently, you, they, he was allowed to do it. He was like, the, the, I, I don't know the full story. You can look it up. Maybe I'm wrong. My general re- memory of it is that like he owned the lake. It was his property, and he was firing into it. Oh, and okay. So like. You own a tank, you own the guns, your property, you can do what you want. Yeah, I read a funny article about some guy that had a tank and he parked it in his front yard and like the homeowners association started <laughs> complaining. And he was like, I don't care what you have to say. Have go ahead and move it. <laughs> if you don't like it, go ahead and try and move it. Oh, and they man. were just like, Ugh, what do we do? <laughs> but it's, but it's, I think it's funny. Like the reason I bring it up is you want to talk about the right to bear arms. One mm-hmm. of the things they always say is like. You, you 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 think you're going to be able to fend off the government in a, in a revolution because it's like you know you'll, some conservatives will say the right to bear arms to stop a tyrannical government. Yeah. Then the left will say the government has nukes. You know what are you going to do? Well, this guy just bought some R uh, from the Royal Australian Air Force some um, some Hornets. Yeah. So uh, you, you know that. he has the right to bear these arms. Yeah. You know, like it probably it probably would have been more if if Canada didn't snag those twenty five jets. I know, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I bet he would have bought I'm them like, all up. Oh, let's grab some of those. So let me just say, for those that uh, uh, would question whether or not you have the right to bear arms in this country, while there are certainly strange laws and infringement, yeah. if anyone ever says to you, well, what are you going to do against the U.S. government? Show him this guy. They're like, well, this guy bought a bunch of fighter jets. <laughs> he's working with the government. I was I just saying, he's probably contracted f- to like, they might have helped him pay for this. It's true. Because yeah. if it's that much cheaper for them to use him as their practice pilots, you know. If then, he buys th- these jets. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, clearly the dude has the right to bear arms, even fighter jets. <laughs> yeah. So, right. you know. <laughs> exactly. I wonder what the legal loopholes were. You know what you know, the thing well, is, too? Hmm. But there's no law in the books saying you can't do it. I I didn't know that I'd wake up today with finding a new goal in life. <laughs> to buy some fighter jets. <laughs> to have my own fighter jet. I <laughs> I had no idea. Well, when you hit 33 million, go. yep, you can make, you can get your first. That's the crazy thing to me. I'm like, how do you even get to 33 million, let alone 1.5 billion? Yeah. I don't know, dude. Well, Man. that's why I think it was, it wasn't just him. It was probably, probably financing company. and stuff like that. Yeah. He had a company. Some tax something or other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot mm-hmm. of things like that. Yeah. Word. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune in to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or... Check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.